guys and welcome back to another tutorial today what we're going to be doing is covering another procedure tutorial this time on particles and blocks so uh first things first uh there is a certain way that you need to set up the particles uh regardless of if it's for blocks or anything else and i'm going to be covering that as well uh another thing that i'm going to be covering is uh why it doesn't work with update ticks and I'll try my best to explain that in just a few seconds. So to basically make a um, a particle spawn uh, we need to go to the world management tab and then there should be a um, particle where is it particle spawn single particle right here and then you can basically adjust the speed and the location as well as the particle type uh, at the current time there isn't any um, particular particles that you can create yourself with imperator that has not been implemented just yet I'm not sure if it will be or not but uh, you do have the options for Minecraft's built-in particles um, if you're not familiar with the particles, I will leave a link to the uh, wiki page for uh, basically examples of the particles and what ones um, are which, and it has some examples that you can use. So with that being said, um, this won't work just alone. You actually need to run it from the client side. So rather than basically running it from only server side. I think I've covered a little bit about that in the past. Uh, we just want to run it from the client side, which is basically the same way. If we go to um, world data and then we scroll down to the bottom, there is is provided world remote client side. And we're just gonna drop that directly onto here. Another thing you can try if that doesn't work is adding an equal sign operator and then just basically testing if it's true. Uh, that will basically do the same thing. Um, either should work and then you just want to put that inside and then it will basically uh, spawn the explosion particle or whatever particle you want to basically generate. So that's basically the gist of um, getting it all set up. I'm going to use Happy Villager because it's a nice bright green and if you wanted to say repeat things to make it go in a tube or whatever uh, then you can do that too. You can go back to um, flow control and then you can drop that down place that inside and then you can also do like repeat it like uh, I don't know 10 times and uh, then what you can do is maybe offset with a local variable uh, the Y coordinates. So I'm just going to type pause Y and we're going to set that to a number. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set pause Y at the top before the repeater. And then we're going to set it equal to Minecraft components Y coordinate. And then what we're going to do is after it runs the first particle, um, actually we should probably, yeah, we should probably offset this plus one because it will be in the, the not. So Y plus, and then we want to go Y plus one. And after it's finished running the first time, then we want to increase the, uh, actual coordinates so we want to remove y and then what we're going to do is go to variables and get the variable pause y and then add one so every time it runs uh the repeater it cycles it's going to add a additional coordinate to this the only other thing that we need to do is get pause y here so with that being said, this is the coordinates where it's going to be spawning. That's where the direction that it'll be basically shooting or moving to. Uh, right now we have it set to velocity 
uh, y and plus one basically, and then our particle types that. So I'm actually gonna set this to 0 0.5. Uh, that should be more than fast uh, enough to basically make the particles move. You could probably even do something a little bit slower if you're doing something like a chimney or whatever. So I'm gonna save that and uh, now you're probably wondering, okay, that's gonna work perfectly fine. It's under update tick, it's probably gonna be working just fine. Let's go and test this out. So I'm actually gonna disable some of the other previous things that we've done, so I don't uh, have any conflicts with this particular tutorial. And we're gonna hop in game and I'll show you how it all works. All right, so we're now in game. I have the block in my inventory and if we place it down and wait a few seconds, nothing's happening. So there is a reason for that. And if we just quickly pop over to Emperor and open up the block and go to our tick rate. Now it should be updating every half a second. So it wasn't doing that. And the reason for that is this update tick doesn't support entities. So anything with an entity tag um, like this one right here or that one, or that one, basically anything with an entity dependency it will work with. Um, update ticks don't work because it doesn't have an entity thing. Uh, in the script, what we're testing for is if it's on entities, um, ent the entity side, so technically it needs an entity de dependency even though it doesn't actually request it. So what we can do to change that, if you want it to basically run on an update tick, is to change the update tick to a client display random tick. Uh, sadly, there isn't any set way to make sure that it's not random, so maybe uh, Pilo can basically add that in the future, but we want to basically set the uh, update tick the procedure that we just set to here. It's not going to say that we need an entity dependency, but it will work. So I'm going to actually exit out a game and then I'm going to save that. But then we'll hop back in game. Alright, so we're back in game and if we place down the block, as you can see the particles are actually spawning. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, the one thing that you probably are noticing is that it's not exactly centered. And that is for a particular reason. That's because the, um, the way coordinates work with per uh, particles is it always puts it at the axis point. Uh, as you can see, the axis is right at that corner of the block. So if you wanted to offset the height and... Um, the actual uh, position of the, to make it center, you have to go 0 0.5 on each of those coordinates. And I can quickly show you how that all works um, in just the uh, update tick. So what you would want to do is go here, um, add a, get an add operator, and then what you wanna do is go plus 0 0.5 five and then you want to duplicate that two times or three times and then you want to basically just drop these in like that and then put them back in the spot so that they were and then that will basically uh, centralize the actual particles uh, in the center of the block so hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful um, I, it's one that's a little bit trickier. It took me a while to figure out, and uh, thanks to my staff on the Discord, uh, my Discord server, I was able to quickly figure out that I needed the um, the actual run it on client side. So thanks to them, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.